Hi Ann, welcome to the Tennis Academy at Harvard and it was terrific having you and we were working on the unit turn for your private lesson. What happens here you can see you're separating the hands and you go straight to the backswing. We're missing the unit turn which is more to the side and loading on the back leg. In slow motion here at 240 frames per second you separate the hands there's some weight back but it goes forward immediately and by doing a unit turn more to the side and creating loading you're going to get more angular momentum once again here we see the hands separate some weight on the back leg into the back swing. There's a good weight transfer. Let's see now what happened after your lesson. On the right is afterwards and you can see that unit turn separating and your shoulders are working a little better together. So you want to keep those shoulders working a little more together. Here we see with Christina McHale, young American player, see her hands working together and her shoulders more turned. She has a little more loading on the back legs. Here you are in slow motion afterwards. This here is very good. The unit turned the rackets up. The hands together, you let go a little early, but this is much nicer. And before, a little weight on the back leg, like Christina McHale. And that was a high ball. We're going to take a look at it again. That's a nice unit turn. Keep the hands working together. A little more loading on that back leg. And that's a low ball. That was very nicely done with the use of the legs. Here we see in regular speed. And it is a much better stroke when you look at it. Uh, we still want those hands working a little more together. A little more loading on the back leg. Thank you for coming in. And good luck with your forehand.